We are back to catch you up on the second half of The Walking Dead Season 8, which was full of battles, betrayals, and that super sad moment with Carl when we found out he had terrible handwriting. Let's flash back before the flash forward. I'm Woody Tondorf, and this is the Skybound Rundown. The second half opens with Carl discovering he got bit. Not everything is about you, Carl. God! Well, time to prepare for death. He paints with Judith. Nice. Prepares his final resting spot. Weird. And even takes selfies. Hard to do, but he's doing it. Carl tells Rick how he got bit and hands him letters to give to everyone as a final goodbye. With Alexandria going to shit, Daryl decides to get everyone the fuck out of Dodge, or Alexandria, and head over to the hilltop. Carl gives his hat to Judith and tells her to be strong. I'm not crying, you're crying, it's very dusty, all the excuses, moving on. Carol and Morgan kill their way through the savior-occupied kingdom, team building, and rescue Ezekiel. Morgan rips the guy's insides out and almost kills Gavin until Henry stabs him in the throat. Don't rub it. Carol's upset, but Ezekiel assures her 8-year-old Henry is totally fine. This definitely won't affect him long term, as long as they find a child psychologist somewhere in the apocalypse in like the next six to eight hours. Rick and Michonne carry Bit Grimes to a church, get it? Carl tells them killing isn't the answer, and there has to be something after. For him, it's a career as a DJ. He also tells Rick about his vision of the future. Oh, so those trippy old man Rick scenes weren't real, they were just Carl's daydreams. Neat. Everybody sobs and says I love you, and goddamn are they dragging this out. Carl shoots himself with a silenced pistol, pew, and gets buried by Rick and Michonne next morning. Moving on, Maggie sends Negan a dead savior in a casket, along with a note saying she has 38 of their people and to stand down. Simon's pissed, but Negan tells him to chill. You will do your job! Simon does not chill. He takes out his frustration, slaughtering all of Jadis' people at the junkyard for siding with Rick. He returns home, lies about what he did, and tells Negan everything's great. It's not. Rick and Michonne arrive at the junkyard to make peace, and everyone's dead, except Jadis. You guys should have called ahead. Rick knows a lost cause when he sees it, so he and Michonne are like, deuces. Jadis grinds up her undead pals into Walker Burgers, while Rick radios Negan to break the news about Carl's handwriting. God damn it. Negan expresses remorse, but tells him Carl would still be alive if he wasn't such a shitty father. What a dick. And also, Aaron tries convincing the Oceanside gals to fight with him, but more on that later. It's Escape to Hilltop Day! Coincidentally, a Tuesday! Daryl leads the Alexandrians while Dr. Carson leads a nearly blind Father Gabriel. There's a joke here. Dwight tells Tara he's sorry he killed her girlfriend, but it's cool because he hated Negan the whole time. Don't care. Naturally, Tara snaps and chases him until Dwight runs into his savior buddies, who he rejoins. Carson searches a cabin for meds to cure Gabe's dog shit eyesight. Instead, he finds a map, key, and radio. Put that in your eye, Gabe! Just as they're about to leave, the saviors show up, kill Carson, and they take Gabe back to the sanctuary. Daryl and the gang finally arrive at Hilltop and break the news of Carl's death to everyone. If it had been a singing telegram, it would have been in poor taste, but it probably would have gone over better. At the sanctuary, Negan puts Gabe to work and tells his saviors to prepare for their next battle with Rick by coating their weapons with walker guts. Look at that. Rosita finds a mysterious crate outside of Hilltop with a note asking them to fill a box with records and meet them in the woods. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? She, Maggie, Michonne, and Enid meet a woman named Georgie, who offers them knowledge in exchange for records, as long as they're not fucking spoken word, or harmful if swallowed by Dane Cook. They agree, and Georgie gives them a key to the future book, which will help them build up Hilltop using pre-industrial technology, and a can-do attitude. Rick ambushes Negan on the way to the Hilltop, separating him from the saviors. They chase each other on foot and have this really cute will they won't they kill each other moment. Rick escapes to the hilltop while Negan gets captured by Jadis. Well, shit. Simon finds Negan's overturned car, immediately assumes he's dead, and tells the saviors he's in charge now, with Dwight as his number two. For Negan! For Negan! It's hilltop battle o'clock and Simon's right on time. Maggie threatens to kill his imprisoned friends, but she forgets that she's threatening Trevor from GTA 5 and he's like, do it. They storm the hilltop and are immediately shot at from all directions. Simon's people retaliate with Walker gut-coated arrows and suddenly it's the two towers with one-eighth of the budget. Tobin gets stabbed, Tara gets shot, and it's all-out chaos until Simon's forced to retreat. Yeah, fuck you, Simon. The next night, everyone at Hilltop attacked with an infected weapon turns and all of a sudden they all do the dance from Thriller. Just kidding, they start eating people. <laughs> Rick and the gang kill their undead friends while Henry accidentally frees all the imprisoned survivors. He sucks. Morgan and Carol discover Henry's missing so they head out to find him. Morgan hallucinates seeing dead children and just wanders off. Look, if you've been to a music festival, you know how this goes. You find him at the medical tent later. At the junkyard, Jadis tries sacrificing Negan to her friends in a helicopter, but Negan extinguishes her flare and the chopper doesn't see it and flies away? What? They were right there. 
Jadis threatens to kill Negan, but he says he didn't know about Simon's attack, and he'll make things right if she frees him. Rick finds Morgan in the woods, and they both get abducted by the escaped saviors. Jared holds them hostage until one of the saviors hits him and frees them. A bunch of walkers show up, Morgan kills Jared, and as a reward for saving them, Rick and Morgan kill the good saviors? <laughs> what the fuck, guys? That's not cool. Carol finally finds Henry. Yay. And everyone returns to Hilltop safely. Negan picks up a mysterious traveler on his way back and also returns home. Yeah, I got all sorts of surprises to roll out. Negan crashes Simon's board meeting. They had the conference room reserved for 12 and no one's shitting their pants more than Simon who says he only attacked Hilltop because he thought Negan was dead. Daryl and Rosita kidnap Eugene from his outpost and quickly lose him when he vomits on Rosita. <laughs> Classic Eugene. And hides in a pile of ash. I take it back. That's even more Eugene. Elsewhere, Aaron finally convinces Oceanside to join the fight. Hey, Aaron's still here. After secretly plotting Negan's murder with Dwight, Simon summons his mutinous crew to carry out the plan. Negan arrives, oh shit. Thanks Dwight for the insight, oh double shit. And has all of Simon's men killed. Yeah. Negan tells Simon they can fight it out. You wanna be the man, you gotta beat the man. And they do. While they brawl, Dwight secretly sends Gregory back to Hilltop to warn the others about Negan's final attack. Negan kills Simon, was there ever any fucking doubt? and then promotes Dwight to his right-hand man. Oh, awesome. He takes him in a room where Laura is waiting. Balls. She was the person Negan picked up in his car. That's not great for Dwight. Yep, and she told Negan about Dwight betraying him. This is awkward. Negan says that plan he gave Gregory will lead his people straight into an ambush. Oh, Negan, you cad. Eugene returns to the outpost to start making bullets for the final battle. Oh, and then Michonne gets on the radio and then reads Carl's letter to Negan to Negan. Admirably, she gets through Carl's handwriting, but Negan doesn't really give a shit because he didn't spend two straight seasons murdering people to not finish murdering all the people. It's like you don't even know Negan! Realizing they were walking into a trap, Rick changes the plan and heads to the battlefield. Unfortunately, Negan is there. He is super good at war. Negan instructs his people to fire, but when they do... Hey, Eugene rigged the guns! Classic Eugene! He was on Rick's side the whole time! Meanwhile, another group of saviors ambush the hilltop, but Aaron and Oceanside ambush their ambush! Checkmate, bitch! Rick and Negan battle it out, and Rick suggests they take a moment, listen to Carl, have a breather, and let's make peace. And then while Negan considers that, Rick slits his throat. But then he actually decides to take Carl's advice and save him. Rick's got layers, guys. Maggie's pissed, but at least the war is over. Time to wrap up. Alden stays. Daryl tells Dwight to find his wife. Find her. Carol returns to the kingdom. Rick and Michonne tell Negan he's going to rot in jail. And Maggie plots revenge on those who saved Negan. Oh, and then Morgan leaves to go and fear the walking dead. He didn't have any choice over it, but Morgan leaving is kind of a, a constant. The season ends with Rick reading Carl's letter to him. It's so sweet, but God damn, that handwriting is just so bad. That wraps up The Walking Dead Season 8. What were your favorite moments? And what are you most looking forward to in Season 9? Tell us in the comments and make sure that you check out our other Skybound rundowns. I do those too, for better or worse. Make sure you like and subscribe to Skybound. I'm Woody Tondorf. We'll see you next time.